go. Game one, Grand Finals, Xanadu, 552. Dexter, Squip Hummer, Dexter come from winner side, Squip Hummer come from losers. It means that he has to win two sets, meanwhile Dexter has to win only one set. And that's not how you want to start it. Definitely not how you want to start it. Dexter coming out strong with that opening, opening salvo, man. Okay. Man, he's all over it. Help. <laughs> you see, my man <laughs> hit the matrix step, micro step away. Okay, okay, okay. He is mortal. He's mortal. He bleeds. <laughs> All right, but excellent pickup right there from Squib Hunter. Stabilizing in a big way. He needed that because Dexter was firing on all pistons. No pun intended. He got, he got out of that jab. Huh. All right, Arsene is going to be here. You need to either kill him or just hit him a few times just to make sure that meter gets whittled down as much as possible before a relevant interaction takes place. Excellent parry. The time was too predictable for, on the side of Dexter. And you have one recovery, but I think Dexter, or excuse me, Arsene is going to be not factor here. Yeah. Down there to up e, and that's going to be enough to get the kill right there. And Squid Plumber looking a lot stronger after that near zero to death. Is all going up for a cons mic? Yeah, it's getting picked up on cons mic. They just yell. It's alternates and Squid Plumber just yelling things. <laughs> Grip Hummer looking poised to close this out. This Joker might need to be put to rest for the day. Because, yeah, no punish, no Arsene, and no stock. That was a, a that was the dinner's ready DI. All right. Kind of looking like he held out right there as we got game one on the board for Squid Plumber. Oh, there are overheads. Hype. Joker's not as good as we think. I think he's good. I think he's just hard to be consistent with him. Like, you have to have a certain, a, how do I put this? It's kind of like if Sheik players knew how to play heavies. That's kind of what you need to have to play as Joker, you know? So not a lot of people kind of can flip that switch the right way. I do think Joker is like very, very strong. He's got to play super opportunistic like that, case in point. But then again, that's how the last game started, and we saw how that ended, so. Dexter has to keep it clean and consistent the whole way. Joker's top five still. So I never like putting up oh, grip. I never like putting that top five quantification on characters because top five is such a, when a game with 90 or near 100 characters, that's so hair splitting. I either think your character is broken, okay, a little bad, definitely bad. That's my four tiers, my mental tier list, and Joker is in the broken category. But, yeah, as I said before, things start strong, but Squid Plumber just manages to find a way back every single time. How do you convert? How did you convert off that? And Squid Plumber just playing a slow, getting the slow burn to burn out Arsene, which he does. And now, fair, honest game coming out. Oh, wait a minute, he dropping low? Not able to get a pickup right there, though. Squid Plumber also playing very opportunistic, which I respect the heck out of. You gotta, you gotta make sure that your opponent doesn't have any opportunities left on the table for them. Alright, gets up, up smash. Gonna 
get that stock off. Now, actually, Arsene's almost on, okay. Arsene was almost on the board. That could have been pretty bad if uh, you have Joker with full rage in our set, but it's good homer. Making sure that that was a non factor. Okay, we got a little something, something here. Okay. Get set up here, getting as much damage as he could take to the bank, but it's good homer. Still firing back. That was only 59% for all that work. So we grab. This actually could. Yeah, he had to air dodge there. That was a true 50 50. The Arsene back here. Actually, even both hit separate, so sitting at a harsher ang angle. Skip so knowing that he couldn't DI out or DI in there, so he DIs out, but even still, not enough to weather that storm as Dexter puts himself on the board 1 1. On to the next one, game number three. The deck's taking the Joker. I mean, as I said before, the Joker was working even in the previous set. It's just a matter of whether or not Dexter really locked in and played opportunistic enough to get the kills. Especially with Arsene. Like, Arsene, Joker, or Dexter's usage of Arsene has been better than most other Jokers. As I said, he has a bit more of a uh, better trigger discipline with the Arsene than a lot of other players. That's not. But that being said, you still gotta make it happen. Arsene's a part of this character for a reason. You need to use him. Squid Pumper DIing out a lot of the time. All this bad. Yeah. Yeah, like, I get going for the up B. It would have burned out more of the RSN meter, potentially would have killed, would have put you in a better situation, but if you miss against Arsene Joker, that's a uh, good night, Irene. Again, not landing that up B. And Dexter not gonna let that go unpunished as the guns come out. Just nicks him, but not enough to get the kill. Back and finds a grab as well. Four throw is not going to be enough. Arsene should come out next hit, but next hit will also be the hit that kills, so uh, hold that. He's going to rub his guard to get some of that meter back up. As Dexter working his way in slow, using the shield very wisely. Recognizing it was a little low, so it's time to go on the offensive a little bit. Script Hummer throws the cross the other way just to get some space back as Dexter is ready and waiting. Script Hummer has to jump high, but okay, able to get out of that, and now we have Arsene as well. Big opportunity for both players right now. And Arsene might be a non factor yet again. Lands in an air, but that's the only damage that Arsene's going to be doing on the board here. The scramble resumes, the neutral starts to play out a little bit slower. What do we have here? Trying to patient between the two of them until Squip Hummer pulls that up B, but going on punch that time around. Dexter over committing a rare uh, flub right there, but not going punished in a massive way. He only have so many tethers left, so he has to get his feet playing back on stage, which he does just fine. Go for the grab, down throw shouldn't do it yet, so opts not to stale it. Just gonna go for the fourth throw. Get stage right back. Yeah, now Dexter looking for that grab. Both of them are. Script Herman's gonna find it first and gets that um, off stage. Oh, both of them. One of those kills so bad, but just not sure how to do it. So much damage on the board. 172, 148. Both of them are living forever. Bro. 
I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need something. There we go. The back air from the front. The hitbox is that thick. The decks are living far on bother time or borrow time. But, I mean, that borrow time is enough to get you quick 42. No. Okay. Squid Plumber gets that forward air. Right as extra put those feet playing it back on the stage. I mean, I'll blame for wanting to go to the ledge, but. Ooh, actually, harsh angle. That gun actually might have been enough to uh, force a really bad situation with Squid Plumber. It's back to the stage yet again as Arsene starts to come online. Getting that grab, though, that's going to burn out a lot of Arsene meter. Pummels destroy Arsene meter, FYI. And that forward smash two frame, going to be it for that game. Squid Plumber keeping that timing on lock as Dexter drops that game to Squid. What was that? That was two frame, baby. And the thing about, um, so... Joker's up B with Arsene is so bad because he it's so easy to two-frame. You have, like, consistent timing to it. And he pokes him above ledge a fair bit as he uses it. So it's – there are plenty of times – I used to play Joker, like, me first. At least there are so many times where I wanted to not have Arsene just for recoveries because I'd rather have it tether and just have that versatility rather than having to deal with up B getting two-frames over and over. So off in the game number four. Grip Hummer on the verge of a reset here. It is possible. Ooh. So I'm trying to think. I mean, what Dexter's doing wrong is when Squid's off stage, he needs to die. Like, I don't know if he's if Squid's recovering fast to avoid the guns, or if the guns just if Dexter's hesitating and the guns just aren't coming out fast enough. But we need to see more of that. The guns just aren't there, and they aren't really being used to buy space. Yeah, actually, now I think about Dexter isn't really scrapping or like buying space for guns too. It's just more just hitting. So you know, J Joker or excuse me, Dexter just play like an American. Second, Am Second Amendment, man. Use more of that. Squid Pumper, though, is doing a good job. When every hit happens, he's doing a good job. Just not overcommitting, but on top of that as well, burning down Arsene and calling out Dexter's movement routes, case on the point. This is looking like, let me get my air horn right quick, because this is looking like a body bag and a half. Don't want to count anyone out entirely, but. Squid Plumber's playing hot, too. Squid was really would have down aired right there. I'm just saying. Okay, he's not going to have a jump here, so he's just going to have to float back to center stage slowly and steady. Mary Poppins. Able to get that recovery. Sniped out. Oh, no, a no-fly zone. Squid Plumber, just check, 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 mating so many of Dexter's options, getting beat down in the corner over there. Arsene is here. We got ledge trumps even. What can't he do right now? This is one of those times he's playing in the zone, locked in, everything's going right. Okay, but wait a minute. The back area is out. I'm going to go for the deep guns, not going to find anything. Wow, with that Macarcon not even really working. And yep, the call out. Okay, with the last wisps of Arsene, Dexter gets the kill. The damage might have been done, though. We're at 150%. He's going to have to Rebel's Guard like hell to get another Arsene here. This sucks. I don't know if he has enough tether. Yeah, luckily, Squid Plumber mistimed that situation here. Okay, wait a minute now. Dexter cooking a little something, something. Nice with the reverse up air as well. DI mix. Just keeping Squid Plumber on the back foot and now getting the parry as well. All that. Uh, all roads lead to the end 
of that back air as we got ourselves the bracket reset. That brings us both to the loser bracket here as Dexter's going to stick it out with the Wolf, even on our bracket reset now. Alright, so here we go. Going back to PS2, like he won't see anywhere else any for the rest of the set. PS2 all day, every day. Maybe some small battlefield if we want some different music. Now Arsene is out, and he is out to play. Ouch, the Aegon intercepting. And the up smash to call out the landing. That was the most decisive use of Arsene that we've seen this set. The movement's a lot more on point this time around. It's like I can see the momentum. Wow, I've never seen that interaction. Like, I can see the momentum for Dexter, but it's just maintaining it seems to be so difficult. Now Smash covers both sides. And uh oh. Yeah. You had to either pray you let that down or pray that you had a plan to deal with Arsene after that. Because you're getting Arsene. Are you? Wow, that is enough. And Dexter able to use all the tools in Joker's repertoire and really locking it back in. Now he's playing some Joker here, okay? Now I feel like the last thing Dexter needs to do to really close out just the mental stack here is make Squib Plunder afraid of landing. Because a lot of times Dexter's jumping to try and intercept in the air. Squid Plumber still gets hit because, like, there's so many different angles of things you can approach. But once you can make him afraid of landing next to you as well, then you're... It's just overwhelming. Too much. Too much. But Squid Plumber's not even going to give it a chance to begin that line of conditioning because he's just going to take that stock away. Good grab right there. Reverse up air. Mix that DI a little. There has to be something we can do to punish them. There has to be. Right. Slow him back down again. Dexter knows he needs the next hit bad, but Squid Plumber knows that he can't afford to get hit. Put that roll in. Oh, yeah, it's going to lead to a tech chase. Are you sick with the guns? No, not going for down guns that time. And three up smashes in a row. These jumps, these landings getting scouted out over and over. Channeling a little bit of that wolf. And that game number one as Dexter is on the board in the reset. Swapping around these colors a bit. The game plan still remains the same. Get Squid off stage and keep on hammering those back airs home. Ooh, okay. The down air actually really set up for a strong situation right there. I think Squid Palmer does have Dexter's numbers on the ledge. There are so many times where um, the Holy Fire was there, and then 
Dexter rolls in, and that down smash was pre-charged, ready and waiting. All right. That was in the second degree down smash. That was first degree. But the angle on that one means it's going to be a hard recovery, hard to make it back, hard to swing. And Dexter advantage right now. Possibly short-lived at 142%. So get some extra credit. If you can get him to, like, at least 60, I would say that's, you know, that stock was more than worth it. And after this next hit, yep, just under 60. Dexter playing nice. Ooh, using the gun dash just to get enough space back. Oh, this is going to suck, actually. Rage Arsene, you're about to be a monster. This is about to be a menace. Oh, that shield's looking low, and there we go, the up smash. So many times, Squid has just been jumping or up being the up smash ready, waiting. We still have a little bit of Arsene left, too. Just eats two up airs in uh, already at 40%. Three stocks to one. This is brutal right now. Dexter locked in. And on top of that, living for 200 years. That was at 200%. Now it looks like Squid's kind of going back to the base and just kind of pushing uh, Dexter off to the other side. Just walking up, F-tilting, throwing some cross. Walk up, F-tilting, throwing cross. Yeah, going back to the basics, and Dexter doesn't even have an answer for it. Excellent pivot grab right there as well. Oh my god, it's Tuesday like hell. <laughs> I think he saw it. Did he, did he still have a jump? I don't remember him burning it. Oh man, now you're just getting bullied. Now you're just getting bullied. Wait a minute, time to bully right back. Oh, wait. Oh, if that tipper, that, if that connected and tipper, that actually would have been game. Squid Plumber. This is his game to win now. Starting to become Dexter's game to lose because he is all over him, doing everything right. Able to jump out just in time and gets the throw and doesn't get the right read on the back air and gets the down air as well. Squid Plumber popping off a little bit gets that game off the brink of defeat. Are we finally? Joker. Okay, sticking with the Joker. I respect it. I respect it. I feel like if you didn't go Joker, or if you didn't go Wolf yet, it might be worth it just to lock in and keep it the whole way. You know, if, if you're playing for experience, if you're trying to win, after this game, I'll switch. Yeah. If you lose, though. And that might not even be what happens here. Game number three. Here we go. So far, they're just grabbing Arsene, just knocking on the door. Enters his way into the game. In fact, this set will be decided on this Arsene music right here, honestly. No jump. Yeah, so that time Squid Palmer was actually just really quick enough to here to recover, recognizing he could not spend any time off stage there. But, gets the down air, not able to get the up air or up smash. No real follow up there. But Squid Palmer has stopped jumping recently, so maybe, you know, he'll be able to hold on to the stocks a lot longer since Dexter doesn't have any more data for that other lead. Down here and uh, up, yep. 
We got ourselves lift off. Let's go Pummer, drawing first blood. Arsene. It's a good pummer, though. I mean, you're playing with house money. Before, just play a little bit more forward, because you're already at 135. Like, you can just burn out this Arsene and get your advantage going even more, as you're doing case in point right now. Yeah, that back air does come for you eventually, though. As it always lands at one point or another. Still, plenty of damage done. It was worth it. Ooh. Yeah, well, some, that killed? That killed? Might have been the earliest I've seen that move kill like ever. I know it was at like 130, but still. Dex is on the chase, but... Not gonna be coming up with anything. Use the gun to shoot the... Um, Holy water, interesting. Alright, another Arsene. And Arsene has been a non factor for a while now. What do we got here? Nothing. Yeah, I was actually a really good air dodge. Joker's false, but you couldn't afford to just hang out out there, so you couldn't really do much else. So, yeah, I'd do that. Another Arsene gone by, done nothing. But, as I say, another Arsene gone by, another up B, Squid Plumber gone by, punished by Dexter. Is this? This would be close. I don't think it should kill. Never mind. Never mind. Apparently, I don't know how strong that move is. I feel like Dexter could have lived that. But, Squid Plumber going up 2-1 and at Torment Point here. Now the moment of truth. We've all been asking the question here. When the back's of the wall, will Dexter stick the Joker? Or is he going wolf? My man wants some money today. That was the quickest wolf pick I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> my man was like, I'm, I'm, I'm winning today. But did you back yourself into a corner a bit too much beforehand? We'll have to see. The Squid Plumber looking hungry for it all today. So far early on, just jockeying for position. This early part is what makes this game so hard for um, Squid Plumber, I believe, especially when he gets out there. Oh, man, put that wolf on a leash. Put him on a leash real quick. Huge opening right there from Squid Plumber. Puts him one step closer to winning this whole thing today. And now at this point, Squid Plumber can really afford to play like even. And just like keep things even and will come out ahead. But, you know, being the ever overachiever that he is, is actually sacking up a lot of damage and getting a huge advantage right here. opportunity for a landing trap, not finding anything. Oh, there we go. That's the punish that I was alluding to before. There's always a punish there, but I'm never quite sure when players are going to take it. Now Dexter's stuck on the ledge, up a creep without a paddle. He's being sent to the skies yet again. Down throw. It's up throw. Okay. I was expecting back throw. But wait, opportunity. Not going for the up B. Both of them knowing how dangerous that could have been. And now Dexter finding opportunities left, right, and center. Ends up getting the back throw. Kind of a like scramble situation here. Able to get off the ledge. And 
almost gets the call out, but he still covers the base of Dexter. Covering left, right, center, high and low. Now Shaq, not the right hitbox, so it won't be quite enough to get the kill. Oh, the forward tilt's not connecting? You know what? Just keep doing it. It'll hit eventually. And now, Squid Plumber one stock away from taking the Xandu over Dexter. It all comes down to this. But Dexter, that last stock, that last stock, the wolf looks like he's right back in step where he used to be. Squid Plumber can keep this calm, composed, and collected, or will Dexter take this all home today? Squid Plumber nicking and diming little bits of damage as Dexter picks it away from getting the kill with that up smash. Now Squid Plumber wants to get that ledge trap going. He wants to just kind of make sure that Dexter remains in check. Dexter not having any of it as he reflects the side B and Squid Plumber gets hit by it. He gets sent down to, or out into the sky, out to the ledge. He still finds his way back in the center stage to regain that lost ground here. Now Dexter just trying to land, just trying to make sure that Squid Plumber lands awkwardly. Just one time, one back air, one up to one up smash is all Dexter's need, but Squid Plumber not giving up any opportunities for the Haymaker to come through. Now, an opportunity, Dexter opts for the laser, but the trade is going to put them both in a bad position. Fourth throw won't be quite enough, but the time, the sand and the hourglass is whittling down. There's just a couple grains left as Squid Plumber looks for this last ledge trap, and the back air is going to connect, and it is going to do it. Squid Plumber takes it 3-1 over Dexter, popping off at that. Well-earned player, well-earned. Squid Plumber takes it all home as um, Sunfish comes up to collect the pay or give out the pay. And with that, the curtain will fall on yet another Xandu for this evening. Guys, it's been a bit of a long road. Lots of twists and turns, you know. Had some highs and lows, but at the end of the day, we had ourselves a good bracket, had ourselves a good time, and had ourselves a good stream. And you know what? It won't be the last one for this week either, because also tomorrow we have our Melee tournament starting at 7.30, I believe. Um, we have FGC Nights uh, at Xandu starting on Thursdays at 7.30 as well. Friday we got The Grind, and Saturday, special Saturday, we got ourselves Homecoming. So, South the Sunfish, Teal, and I think four tournaments this week in the region. Always thank your TOs, guys. They pull out hell of work. Also, thank your streamers. Noah, thank you for holding things down, keeping things running on the back end of the stream. And thank, yep, and thank you all as well for tuning in. And thank me for hanging out and commentating with you all, even though it was a pleasure. I had fun. So, guys, it's always a pleasure hanging out, kicking it with the chat. But it's time for me to go home and be an old guy and get some rest. So, hope you all enjoy your evening. Hope you all tune in next week. Same time, same place. Zandu is always going to be happening. Y'all know the vibes. Probably going to be here next week as well. And I hope to see you all here as well. Just be safe out there. Enjoy your spring break if you're doing it. And just keep on enjoying Super Smash Brothers. Peace out, y'all.